gang. I'm Rita. I'm Tanya. And welcome to, to the, the adventures of two fat chicks. chicks. We are learning a little bit of Asian cooking. Yeah, today yeah. we are cooking. So here in Hot Springs, our favorite Chinese joint, the only Chinese joint, um, sadly burned down a little while back. They're trying to rebuild, which would be great. But we don't have decent Chinese. Pretty much anywhere from Rapid City to Shadron. Shout out for those who make good Chinese. Come to Rapid City and the Black Hills. <laughs> but until then, we've decided one of our favorite things is gyoza or fried dumplings. So, it's fabulous. So, I, so we already started putting this together when... We remember to record this because we'd like to share this with you guys. <laughs> and so I'll take you into where we started. All right, let's go. Come on down. Join the fun. All right, so I already mixed together the cabbage and garlic and what's it called? Um, water chestnuts along with... Um, Sesame oil, ginger, salt, and a tiny bit of sugar. Soy sauce. Oh, yes, and soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Yes, and soy sauce. Um, and now we're going to add in our pork. This video. You have to mash it, mash the, the ingredients together so that the meat is kind of... Um, it's pasty. Pasty, that's the word I'm looking for. Yes. And um, to just do it with a regular spoon, is it doesn't work. So I'm going to try something different this time. Because the last time I did this, <laughs> it took me two days for my hands to recover. I'm going to try doing this with a uh, hand mixer and see how far we get. So in goes the ground pork. Donk. Peel that out of there. And then I'm going to kind of break the pork up so it, it mixes together more evenly. And then once it's all done, I guess, we'll come back and I'll show you what the texture should be. Okay guys, so now it's time to make the actual dumplings. You can make them by hand a bajillion ways. Rita and I have tried. It's been fun. <laughs> we did enjoy learning all the folding processes. It, there's some really cool ones out there. Videos it, are awesome. Yeah, YouTube it. But it takes practice. Yeah. So Rita came up with the duck mouth or false teeth, or whatever you call that. I think it's a duck mouth. These are dumpling makers. Our duck. table is set up just like you would set up a table for a couple of kids doing an art project. <laughs> yeah. Right? So Rita's got her station. I've got my station. And in that station, we've got our little duck mouths. We've got a cup of water. Cheers, but we're not drinking it. <laughs> For sealing the dumplings closed. Right. We've got our dumpling mix that just came out of the fridge. It was marinating or sitting there in the fridge and thinking, thinking about, about what, what it's, it's done. done. <laughs> Actually, thinking about what it's going to do. Get in my belly. <laughs> and then wrappers. Um, you can get wonton wrappers. We happen to find these egg roll wrappers um, on sale. So we just cut them into quarters. So that'll work too. Two spatulas. Because you need to be able to smoosh the goosh. And um, trays. So 
So now you're not going to get to see our faces, just our hands and all the stuff. And all the goodies. So here we go. I'm grabbing some wrappers. And you want to try and keep your wrappers in a sealed bag or something as you're wrapping them. Because they, here we go, sissy. Um, they dry out as you go. So you want to keep them in there. And then you scoosh the goosh. I always put my oh. wrapper on the thingy first. She is so smart. That's why she's, I won't say the eldest. Say she's <laughs> I'm wise. the eldest. I'm old. That's okay. You can tell me. She's wise. So <laughs> you put it on your thingy. Watch her. Scoosh the goosh. Watch this. It's magic. You take a little bit of water to seal it closed. Gotta have the glue. Yes, water is key. And then scoosh the goosh. And this all peels off. Just like that. Just like that. <gasps> Voila! How pretty is that? Dumpins! Yeah! Our own Chinese restaurant here at home. So now we've got our dumplings assembled and now it's time to cook them. So here we are back over at the stove and they're going into the pan. And you want your oil to be hot. You don't want a lot of oil in your pan. No more than two tablespoons. And you lay them in there all around the pan. And let them cook for eh, two or three minutes just to get a nice little golden crust. So we'll get these in here and be right back and show you what they look like. So when they're in the pan at the beginning to get the nice crisp on them, you want your heat to be at about medium high so that it almost works like a deep fryer, but not with a whole deep lot of grease in it. You want just a little bit of grease. See how that's crisping up, how nice that looks? It's not quite there yet. We're getting there though. All right, so when they get to where they're looking like this, nice crisp brown, but not burned, now comes the hazard part. Now we add, we turn the temperature down to about medium. And then we get our shield. Because we're going to steam them. My pan that we use has a little vent hole here, which is perfect for making these. Because it vents the steam without making a huge mess. But I also use my my lid as a shield so that the grease doesn't splatter back at me as I pour about a half a cup of water in the bottom of this pan just so that it fills and covers the bottom of the pan. You don't want the water real deep. You don't want to boil them. We're steaming them. And then you'll cook those for about another, I'd say three to five minutes. Right on, so lunch is ready to consume. Oh, lunch. Look at how pretty is served. So I'm gonna go animal on it. And I'm tearing mine in half because I like the dipping sauce on the inside. And I bet you guys wanna see that. Oops, maybe you don't, it's running away. Nicely cooked, see? Pork's all cooked through. Dip it in my fabulous sauce and mm. 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 okay, my turn. Her turn. <laughs> 
She's much neater than I am. Mm-hmm. 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 The cabbage is still a little crisp, mm -hmm. which I really like. The pork is completely cooked through. And um, I love the, um, the water chestnuts. Oh, the water chestnuts mm. are killer. You got a little more ginger in this one. Mm hmm I like that. I don't yeah. know how she feels because ginger's a little pisy. Yeah, no, I, I I usually am a lot more conservative with the ginger, mm. but this is really, really good. I am so digging it. Oh, my gosh. So speaking of digging it, I can't talk to you and do this. And feed her pie hole. Mm. <laughs> so, so we're going to have to let you go. Yep. But always remember. Never forget. Life is an adventure. Go find yours. Have a good one. Bless you.